Hey everyone, this is Adam, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to quickly add slide layouts to your Figma presentations with one click using the Pitch Deck plugin. So to get started, all you need to do is go to your Figma file, click on the little resources icon up here, and if you search for Pitch Deck, so that's P-I-T-C-H-D-E-C-K, and you'll see the Pitch Deck item pop up. If you just go ahead and click on that under the plugins tab, you can run the plugin by either clicking this run button here, or I'd recommend clicking on this little save icon here, which will save it to your Figma plugins list for easy access later. So I've already done that. So I'm gonna to go to my Figma file. I'm just gonna right click anywhere, go down to plugins, go down to saved plugins, and then click on the pitch deck item. And that's just gonna run the plugin we saved a second ago. So if you're new to the plugin, the way that it works is it basically takes any slides that are frames, components, or instances on your Figma page, and it allows you to load them in as slides uh, to the plugin. So for example, if we add a quick frame, so if we go to the frame section, click on the presentation drop down here and just add a 16 by nine frame, and then click on refresh layers, you can see here that we've got a frame uh, added to our page. And we can obviously add different layers inside of that frame. So we can add uh, headings, we can add uh, images, we can add all kinds of content to our slides. And then that will get loaded into the plugin here. And we can add animations and links and things like that to those layers. Uh, however, there might be times where you don't wanna manually do this yourself. And if you want to really quickly spin up some slide layouts, the plugin has a feature to help you do that. So to access it, all you need to do is go down here at the bottom of the slides list and click on this add slides button. And that's basically gonna bring up this panel here. So it gives you a whole bunch of different preset layouts, common layouts uh, that you might wanna use for your slides. So for example, we can add this uh, slide title slide. We can add uh, this other slide here. And you can basically go through and add the different types of slides that you might want to include in your presentation. And once you do that, you can see here that it's adding the slides to our page uh, just as we'd expect. So I'm going to get rid of the original slide that we had and just go back to my uh, plugin and refresh that. And you can see here that we've now got all these other slides uh, added in to our presentation. So this is a really quick way of quickly adding uh, different slides to your presentation without needing to manually go through and create all these different layers. And these are all auto layout as well. So for example, if we were to duplicate this uh, text area, you can see that the layout automatically adapts. We can control uh, the item spacing and things between those different layers. So the other cool thing that we can do is we've also got full control over the global textiles and global color styles. So you can see over here, uh, we've got different styles automatically added to the document that we can modify. So for example, if we go in here and uh, change the font, so we can change this to something else. So maybe we would use a custom font like this and we can change that for our heading as well. So I'll just change that there. And you can see that the font in our design has totally changed across all the different slides. Uh, we can do that for colors as well. So if you wanted to change the slide heading colors, you can just go into the sidebar, jump into the uh, selection over here, and you can see here, it's basically automatically changing the colors of all of our headings. We can do that for the paragraph text as well. Um, and also, if you want to add a alternate theme, you can do that as well. So if we go back into our uh, slide layouts panel and toggle on this use alt Figma color styles uh, toggle, this will automatically use the alt styles that you've got set up. So for example, if you can see on the right hand side here, we've got the slide background and slide background alt. So the alt styles are the alternate uh, colors that we can use for these slides. So for example, if we change the alt style here to be a slightly different color, uh, you can see that updates automatically and any new slides that we add uh, with that color. So I'll just make it a pink color so we can see it easily. Uh, so any new slides you add from the layout creator with that toggle enabled will automatically inherit those uh, styles and colors as you can see here. The same thing goes for the alt styles turned off. So because we've changed our styles for the normal colors, uh, if we add new styles now or new slides rather, uh, you can see that the text is being set at the font and the color that we set globally. So that's just a really quick way of doing that. The other thing that you can do is go to this master slides tab here. I'm just gonna refresh that by clicking on this refresh component slides button. And what this does is it basically takes any components 
uh, in your page. So even if you haven't added them through the slide layouts creator here, uh, any slide components that you've added to your page will get loaded up under this master slides panel. And again, if you click on any of these slides, so for example, if I click on this one or click on this one, it will automatically add those as new slides uh, but add them as instances. So it'll add them as an instance of that component. So for example, if we were to change uh, the master component for uh, this layer over here, so if we just go down here, go to main component and click on main component. And then if we were to essentially change any of the design on this slide, so for example, I'll just zoom out uh, so you can see what that looks like. If we were to change the padding, for example, so if we change the side padding, you can see here that as I'm changing the padding on the component, the instance is also inheriting that uh, padding as well. So this is just a really easy way of spinning up brand new slides based on your master slides. Uh, if you've got a team or if you're reusing slides and you wanna quickly add them, you can just do it with one click just by adding them through this panel over here. So that's a really quick and easy way of adding new slides based on the master slides that you've already kind of got set up. Uh, so that's what that looks like there. So if you wanted to then export this to a different format, we can do that as well. So all you need to do is click on the export button in the plugin. So if you click on export, uh, you can select the export format. So by default, it will automatically export it to the Pitch Deck Presentation Studio web app, uh, which is a shareable link that you can send uh, in the browser to someone who wants to view the presentation. Or you can also export it to things like a PDF file or a PowerPoint file. So you can export it to any of those formats. And all you need to do is click on the export button, uh, wait for it to export those slides, and you'll automatically get your presentation uh, as a PowerPoint file or a PDF uh, or any other kind of format uh, that you're interested in exporting. So once that finishes, you can just click on the download button and that will allow you to save it to your computer. So once you save the file, you can just open that up in PowerPoint and you can see here that we've got our slides uh, exported from Figma as you'd expect. So these are all editable. You can edit the content of those ones. Uh, these can be moved around if you wanted to. You can basically edit all of that content uh, and that's what that looks like there. So yeah, that's basically it for today. I just wanted to show you how to quickly use this new layout feature to add layouts and color styles and text styles that can be easily managed from one place. Uh, and of course you can update any of this content uh, that you want. Uh, for example, the images, you can drop in new images there uh, and those are basically just placeholders. Uh, same with the placeholder text content. You can just jump in there and replace that text as you'd expect. So I hope that's helpful. If you've been wondering how to quickly add slide layouts without having to manually design uh, these kind of common layouts every time, uh, I'm sure this will expand over time with more layout options. But for now, you can jump in and give it a try with the ones that are in there. And hopefully that helps the workflow for you and your team putting together presentations more quickly. So thank you as always for watching and we'll be back with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.